Hey everyone, this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com and thank you for joining me today for video game sales. It is January 19th, 2022 and in today's video we are going to check out video game sales in 2021 Africa edition. This is exciting for me because I get sales data every week courtesy of Famitsu, usually Thursday mornings, that tell me what's the state of the video game industry looking like from a sales perspective in Japan. Thanks to Matt Piscatella over from the NPD group on Twitter, once a month I get United States data. I get data, and we all do for that matter, from different European countries throughout the months, throughout the years. But from Africa, we don't get information too often. So this, getting an insight into key countries in Africa that are gaming and how they're rising and stuff, is really exciting. So. I'm happy to break this down and then I'm going to show you the website that I got it from. So if you're interested, you could go ahead and look up more information. These are the top five countries in order of most to least dollars spent. And this is the sub-Saharan portion of Africa. And they go as follows. South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, and Ethiopia. The total player population is 105 million. The total payer population is 37 million. I have to emphasize, player is 105 million, payer is 37 million. Because there are more people gaming, there are fewer people that are paying to game because not all games cost something. Some games are free to play, for instance. And then total consumer spending is $589 million. Spending from most to least is the mobile market, followed by PC, followed by console. I'll give you a little heads up. Mobile makes up a giant percentage, and then PC and console are almost neck and neck for second and third place. But they're both a distant second and third from mobile, which is uh, tremendous. And I'll show you those charts in a moment. 40% of South Africans play video games. That's a lot. Of all of the people in South Africa, you know, it's getting close to half are all playing games. And that just to me sounds like fun. Since video games are my favorite form of entertainment, the idea of, wow, two in every five people that you meet are gamers is uh, something pretty cool. And I hope that it continues to grow. 23% of Nigerians play video games. 27% of Ghanans play video games. 22% of Kenyans and 13% of Ethiopians. So on the lowest side, still 13%, and that's more than one in every 10 people. So that's still a, a fine number, and like I said, I hope that it continues to rise in every one of these countries and the countries that are not listed here. In terms of how much was spent per country, I said that total was $589 million, but the breakdown per country of these five goes as follows. South Africa with $289.5 million, Nigeria with 184.6 million, Ghana at 41.7, Kenya at 38.1, and Ethiopia at 35.2 million dollars. I also said this, uh, which it is awesome, and I'm reading it. Awesome seeing the number of sub-Saharan gamers more than double in the last five years. That's a big figure if you think about that. More than doubling in the last five years. Will it double again in the next five? You know, there's a lot of diminishing returns, and that applies to almost everything. Resolution in a TV, power in a computer, um, money in a bank account, and how much you could do with it. And then, of course, the higher up you get to a country's total of gamers being able to be played, uh, the fewer can end up being added to that respective list next year, and so forth, right? So eventually we'll reach a saturation point where... You know, it can't double anymore, but there still is room for growth, and that's just awesome to see. This is the website that I got the information from, gamesindustryafrica.com, and, you know, they break things down a lot more. I'll scroll through some of the charts and show you. This is what I was talking about, about earlier. A closer look at those figures can be seen below, and then here you see just how much is being spent in mobile in each category of each country, I should say, compared to PC and console. Not a ton of console gamers and PC gamers 
Uh, most of this money spent, most of these players are spending it on and playing on mobile platforms. What I would like to see is, you know, growth, of course, in every category, but really growth personally in the console category. But that's a whole thing on console distribution and cost of console. You know, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, they cost more in Africa, both literally and comparatively to how much they cost in United States. So the cost of them shipping it is more expensive, buying it is more expensive, and the average money made to then buy it is a greater difference than in the United States, for instance, how much it costs based off a of minimum wage to then buy said product. But still, we're getting growth, and that's cool. That stat that I provided earlier, you know, how 40%, for instance, of South Africans in total population are playing. There are 59 million people in South Africa. 24 million of those are gamers, and that's where that 40% came from. And you can see the breakdown in the following countries, like in Ghana, 23%, Nigeria, 22%, Kenya, 13 or sorry, uh, 27 in Ghana, 23 in Nigeria, 22 in Kenya, and 13 in Ethiopia. And yeah, there's also a chart here from Africa's startup activity and where is it concentrated. And you can see how much money is being spent in different sections. We've got Morocco, Egypt, Rwanda, Uganda, Kenya, South Africa, Nigeria, and Ghana, all being the prominent locations where startup activity is being concentrated. You can see the growth year on year from 2017 to 18 to 19. And we see some industry trends of growth, of more developments. And yeah, once again, V. Bassi, thank you. If you'd like to read more of this information, some of the stuff that I uh, skipped over slightly, head over to gamesindustryafrica.com. But I hope that you enjoyed the information that I covered. I try to take the most compelling points that were the easiest to look at and also give you some incentive that if you want to see more, you could go check out more yourself. But uh, that's kind of the tip of the iceberg there. But anyways, this was another fun video for me for video game sales with PGN. I hope you all had a good time, and I'll see you all next round, probably tomorrow morning for another episode of Video Game News with Paul Yale Network, which will include Famitsu sales for the previous week. All right, take it easy, everybody. Bye.